Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks back I asked you guys to ask me any questions that you wanted to know either about me or what I do or just random questions that you had. So I put those together and I'm going to answer them in this video. The first question I have is what did you study? In university I studied media, I studied communication and journalism and I had a bit of business as well with that but my main degree was media, communications and journalism. If you were to travel to one place, where would it be? The two places that I would love to go to would be Morocco or Thailand. But if I had to pick, like let's say I've already gone and you know, that's already happening. I think it would have to be like Jamaica. So the next one is from one boy, Mina. She has a bit of a serious one. Um, and she asks, do you think that studying and living abroad gave you better insight on how the world works and has it impacted where you are in your life? Then she says, also, what is your job application and job description? P.S. I love your work. Thank you, one boy. Definitely, definitely, because um, something as simple as you get to meet the different cultures that are out in the world, you get to meet different people, you get to interact with people in their home, because um, I will say that Kenya in itself is actually quite diverse. We're not just all Kenyans who look like me, but we are Kenyans from various places, various um, elements just you know we're very different people as Kenyans and then we also have our own international community here which is quite large but I do think it's different when you meet someone who's um, from somewhere different in your home than when you meet them in their home being able to meet different people the people who weren't raised the way I was raised or in the country that I was raised and meet them on their turf like you know home ground advantage and all that so to be able to meet them on their side um, it's definitely something that you can't really duplicate if you met them on your turf. Did it give me a better insight on how the world works? Yes, because you get to see different elements. You get to see, you know, there's always that thing of comparison. You compare like, you know, how transport works there or how transport works here. I will say the thing that I found I was doing quite a bit is comparing how things worked in certain places as opposed to like here. So, you know, transport in Australia versus transport in Netherlands or transport in Kenya. And this is public transport. You can see a difference in that. But then also when it came to culture and food, so various places, depending on where it is, it has various I guess like positives and negatives so that did give me a better understanding of things we are um, fortunate right now because we have a lot of information available to us through the internet through YouTube through anything so if you wanted to see how a place is you can go online and just search it and see you know videos that come up vlogs and other people who um, visited and been there but I do think there's nothing quite like being there yourself to understand how the culture works or how things work and then that does give you a better understanding of then how the world works from various angles and various perspectives. Who does your hair and what camera do you use to film? I posted this picture on my Instagram and I tagged the person who does my hair. His name is Sam and he is located in town. All of his details are on that picture. You can click to his Instagram and then go from there and see what other styles that he has, but he's actually fantastic. He's so, so good. This camera that I'm currently filming on is on a tripod. It's a Velbon EX 330. It's not the sturdiest. For the purpose that I use it for, for indoors or in environments that are outdoors but a bit more stable, like less wind and all that, it works perfectly. And the camera that I use is a Nikon D5200 with the standard lens kit that it came with. I've had this camera for about four years now. I got it when I graduated and I've had it ever since. And this is what I use for my vlogs if I'm not using my phone. Um, this is usually what I have with me if it's charged. <laughs> I know a lot of people who vlog and film and um, do YouTube have microphones that they put on the camera but um, for me it works quite well. I do play with it a little bit when I'm in Final Cut but nothing too major. For me the way the camera is and especially because my environment is quite quiet at the moment I don't need to get extra mics or extra anything um, and yeah it works perfectly for me so far so good. What is my occupation? I currently work at Nation. I work at Nation Media Group but I work in the editorial side so we're Daily Nation and Nairobi News and all of that. Can you please tell us what you've learned in marketing strategies over the years? I'm not really a marketer, I wouldn't say. I do think that my job can involve some marketing and some PR, but it's mainly journalism and, and all of that. So very loosely, my advice or my tip, I guess, would be to be confident in what you're saying and how you're saying it. Know what you're saying back and front, up to down, inside out, 
and be confident in how you're presenting it and also take time to understand your market because even as Kenyans we don't all like the same thing so the people you're trying to target know them understand them understand what they like doing and then you'll get your content and you'll curate it and create it with them in mind and hopefully it will work in your favor and in their favor and yeah the next question says isn't your sister the best sister in the whole universe but yes she is what is your favorite snack of all time? So, one snack. I actually, let me, uh, let me give my top three favorite snacks. So in no particular order, the first one would have to be mango achari. Mango achari is the best thing ever. My second favorite snack would have to be built on. Again, chili, I love chili. Chili on everything is life, but biltong, um, beef biltong, not ostrich, not all this other stuff, just simple beef biltong from South Africa with chili, delicious. And my third favorite snack are Tim Tams. They can't be left off this list. I, like, Tim Tams are life. Yeah, Tim Tams, that's it. You, like, you just know, and especially these new flavors that have come out, oh my god. <laughs> the next question says, do you have a boyfriend and can I marry you? I mean, the next question is, did you vote? So we recently had elections, for those of you who are not in Kenya, and yes, I did vote. And this is another one that's related to what I do for work, and Moses says, I always wanted to know if you work flexi hours. Yes and no. Yes, because I work in media, so it's not a strict 9 to 5, because that's not how the media works. Because I work in the digital um, world, there is a bit, a, just a tiny bit more leeway. Depends on what's going on at the time and what exactly needs to happen. Um, hey, guys, guys are in my business. What? The next question is, do you want to get married and do you want to have kids? The answer is yes and yes. Do you have a Saraha account? No, I personally do not have a Saraha account. My final question is from Fiona, all the way in Australia. Hey, Fiona. And she says, which flavor of ice cream best describes your personality and why? Damn. If it had to be one flavor, it would be salted caramel. One, because I love salted caramel. It's a mix of something unusual that you wouldn't expect to go well together, but when you try it, it's the best thing you've ever had. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is where I'm going to wrap up today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If I didn't get to answer your question, I'm really sorry, but I don't want this video to be so, so long. I want to know what you guys have been up to while I've been away, because I have bumped into a few of you. Shout out to all of you guys who I've seen when I've been on this small hiatus, who actually came up to me and were like, where's the next video? Here's the next video. Here it is. So um, shout out to you guys for coming to say hi. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. Yep. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.